Jim here with words of wisdom. First off, don't let your babies grow up to be cowboys. I might be running out of material. Second off, keep your email snark factor at zero. This applies to emails and text messages. So much of what was once verbal communication, either face to face or over the phone, is now in the form of emails and text messages. And when you can't see someone's face or hear their voice, it's hard to discern their tone or what emotions are behind the message. And things can be easily misinterpreted. Depending on your choice of words, someone can read your email and think it's snarky or aggressive, even when you didn't intend it that way at all. So be careful. What's even more common is that you do have strong emotions and they get conveyed in your written message in a way that's not helpful. In short, your message is snarky and that's not going to get you the response that you want. So don't write emails or send text messages when you're emotional or annoyed or miffed about something. And if you just have to get it out of your system, write it, but don't send it. And don't fill out the to line so that you don't send it by accident. Maybe wait till the next day and send a less emotional message. Because folks, letting the cat out of the bag is a whole lot easier than putting it back in. If you're writing an email that is very sensitive or on a matter of contention, maybe have someone else review it to make sure it's not conveying a tone or an attitude that you don't want. I recently had a situation where we felt unfairly treated in a contract negotiation with a prospective client. I had to write an email to one of their executive managers explaining how we were being unfairly treated and asking for relief. And I confess, I was pretty annoyed. So before I sent the email, I had a couple of other people that were familiar with the situation review it. And they helped me soften the tone because I had indeed let some of my annoyance seep through, and that's not good. So snark has no business in business. That's all.